back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Game of Thrones has been releasing promotional photos from Season 7 in the weeks leading up to the premiere. One of these releases features a scene of Sam and Gilly reading through old books. At first glance, it seems as if Sam is hard at work studying to become the new maester for the Night's Watch. But after further examination, we can see Gilly looking at a page from a companion novel of the main series. It's called The World of Ice and Fire, but I'll get to that in a second. Here's what's on the page. It is also written that there are annals in a shy of such a darkness and of a hero who fought against it with a red sword. His deeds are said to have been performed before the rise of Valyria, in the earliest age when Old Gis was first forming its empire. The legend has spread west from Ashai, and the followers of the Lord of Light claim that this hero was named Azor Ahai, and prophecy his return. In the Jade Compendium, Colloquo Votar recounts a curious legend from Yiti, which states that the sun hid its face from the earth for a lifetime, ashamed at something none could discover, and that disaster was averted only by the deeds of a woman with a monkey's tail. Like I said before, this passage comes right out of the world of Ice and Fire, a book that was written from the perspective of a maester from the Citadel. Now, this book is all about the history of the known world, like the long Targaryen reign in Westeros, and also the Valyrian Freehold. Anyway, the main thing to note is the writing is the same as in the picture, so could this mean Gilly has found the actual World of Ice and Fire book? Well, probably not. It was written as a historical guide for the ruler of Westeros. That means the king would have it in his possession, so it probably wouldn't be at the Citadel. But then again, who's to say there aren't any handwritten copies stashed away in their massive library? Either way, Sam has access to the notes and material used for writing this book, meaning he has access to whatever knowledge the world of Ice and Fire has in it, and that's a lot of valuable information. One thing the Azor Ahai passage mentions is Ashai, specifically the fact that the legend grew from there. This makes me wonder, because it is believed that dragons came from Ashai rather than Valyria, and that there are more dragons alive in the Shadowlands. That's where Illyrio got Danny's dragon eggs from originally. I feel like Sam will see the importance of Ashai, since it's at the center of everything involving magic, the Lord of Light, and even Quaith. George R. R. Martin has stated that we would not see Ashai as a location visited in the books, unless by flashback or something similar. Most fans find this unfortunate, but with the word flashback mentioned, we can hope that Bran Stark or Daenerys has a vision of the mysterious place. So here's my question to you. Now that Sam is at the Citadel, we have to assume he will learn some significant things about the world. For example, if you go to class, you're bound to learn something. But will that something be the final clues we need to piece together the prophecy? Let me know what you think. I want to give a quick shout out to Geek Fuel for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't checked them out, they are basically the best subscription box service in the business. They send you cool, geeky collectibles and gear that you'll actually like, plus a bonus Game of Thrones writing journal for new subscribers when you use our link in the description. Feel free to go check them out. As always, have a great day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.